Hey everyone, so let's take a look at what we've got here. Um, first of all, I have three different graphs that are on here. We only ask that you do two of them there. So you're only looking at the blue one, which is the low temperatures, and then you're looking at the purple one, which is the wind chill temperatures. So what I want you to do here is find negative 25 degrees. And you should see that I've drawn a black line going all the way across here. This is what we believe to be is the magic number. So the reason why I'm looking at that is on that Tuesday, all right, when this was going on, we were at school. So you can see we were 6 a.m. It was above. It was negative 20, quite cold out, but it hadn't dropped much. We were at school. But then what ended up happening is as we got to the end of the day, they canceled all after school activities and said, hey, everyone's got to go home. Get on that bus right away. Wait in the cafeteria for your bus if that's the case, but get home. You can see how it plummeted below and well below. School was canceled on Wednesday, and then it was also canceled on Thursday. Even though at noon it was well above the temperature, we're going to go to that 6 a.m., what would be 7 a.m., and you can see we're definitely still well below it there. Friday, we were back in school as things were kind of back to normal. Very cold, but still a little bit more back to normal. So negative 25 is that magic number. And again, it's when the kids are getting on the bus is where we run into those situations. Because again, we can't leave kids outside waiting. Maybe the bus is running a little bit late. So negative 25, in case you're curious, regarding how many inches of snow, hey, I can't answer that for you. But temperature wise, cold wise, negative 25 degrees or below seems to be the winning number that's there. Um, so all that you need to make sure you have done here is you've got your black line that's drawn in. You should have your purple line drawn in. Doesn't need to be purple. You should have your blue line drawn in. Doesn't need to be blue. If you still need information, remember what you can do is you can get yourself out to the GMS Learn, not into Excel, all right? You can get yourself out into your GMS Learn page. Let me bring that on up here. Da, 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 da. I'll open up my new window. Get to GMS Learn. All right. I'm going to find my schedule. Click on Map. And then here, right there, Wind Chill Factor. All right. You can open that document up to find what you need there. Um, but yeah, you're going to have that. Um, and um, you'll be all taken care of. Um, I will have a. Uh, place for you to insert your graph into OneNote. So that will be in there. We'll have that ready for you by Friday. So we're making that part of your Friday with your quiz. Um, but yeah, that's it, people. All right, you're done.